Good evening. On behalf of Penguin Group Canada and the Cookbook Store, my name is Alison Fryer, and I'd like to welcome you all to this highly anticipated event with Ruth Reichel and Joanne Cates. So just a quick word on the tonight's format, although you've all waited patiently out in the lobby, so most of you already picked up your book, I'm sure, but if you haven't, you can get it outside in the lobby after the event, and just have that little part of the ticket stub with you, and that'll get you your book. When we confirmed Toronto was going to be on Ruth's extremely hectic and really ambitious book tour, one of my first thoughts was, who would we get to interview her? Couldn't be me. I'm way too much of a fan, and that's never a good thing when talking to a favorite author. So I needed somebody with a strong background in food, especially in restaurant reviewing, a great writing prowess, and a keen sense of family. Joanne fits that bill and then some, and I'm delighted she's agreed to do this today. As, as you all know, restaurant critics can be notoriously shy, so, and, 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 and Joanne's shy, but as you can see, not completely shy. Um, anyway, I'll just give you a little quick background on Joanne. She studied at the Cordon Bleu Cooking School in Paris, is director of the wonderful Camp Arrowin in Algonquin Park. She also sits on the board of Prevnet, which is a national organization whose goal is the elimination of bullying in Canada, for which we will be making a donation in Joanne's name this evening for her participation tonight. She's also past president of Integra, the Children's Mental Health Centre, at which time she was honoured with the Queen Elizabeth Jubilee Medal for her service to the community. She's been a regular contributor to national and international publications, has published four books, including my favourite, the Joanne Cates Cookbook, and don't call me tomorrow because it is out of print and I'm not giving mine up. <laughs> As many of you know, though, Joanne has been the restaurant critic for the Globe and Mail since 1975. That's a lot of meals out. Ruth Reichel probably needs no introduction to this audience. But for those who may be only familiar with Ruth as food editor-in-chief, or editor-in-chief, my apologies, at Gourmet Magazine, Ruth's publishing career actually began in 1972 with her first book, Mmm, A Feastiary. Say that a few times. Um, which, alas, is out of print as well, but I tried frantically trying to find it on second-hand out-of-print places uh, the last couple of weeks and to no avail. Her widely popular series of memoir books began with Tender at the Bone in 1998, followed by Comfort Me with Apples, Garlic and Sapphires, and this latest book that we're celebrating here tonight, Not Becoming My Mother. Ruth, as you all know, was raised in New York City, and for those who've read the earlier books, you'll know Ruth spent part of her schooling at the prestigious boarding school in Montreal. Although not a great time, we do believe she can still speak a smattering of French. It has stayed with her. Her move to California in the early 1970s, after graduating from the University of Michigan with a degree in art history, would put her at the front and center and involved with the cultural food movement that was going on in Berkeley at that time. And if you haven't read the first memoir, she talks about it brilliantly in the early memoirs. After a stint as a chef, she moved to the magazine and newspaper world and never looked back. From 1984 to 93, she was restaurant critic, then food editor of the Los Angeles Times. You are taking notes, aren't you? There is a test at the end of this. Um, then in uh, 1993, she assumed the role of restaurant critic for the New York Times until 1999, when she became editor-in-chief of Gourmet Magazine, which is the magazine is still going strong some 50 years after its inception, and where Ruth still presides today. Her awards are numerous, and honestly, I had a hard time sort of narrowing it down, but here's some highlights. Four James Beards Awards, which two for restaurant criticism, one for journalism, and a who's who of food and beverage. And I just want to say as an aside here, because the awards were given out last night in the book awards categories, and the cookbook of the year was none other than a Canadian authored book called Fat by Jennifer McClagan. <laughs> and also Naomi Duguid and Jeffrey Alford won in the international category for Beyond the Great Wall. So that was, now back to Ruth, that was a little aside there. Um, she's won several awards with the American uh, Association of Food Writers, the recipient of the YWCA's Elizabeth Cutter Moore Award, celebrating the accomplishments of strong, successful women. That sounds like a fabulous award. She's a frequent contributor to television and radio, doing a live monthly food radio show with Leonard Lopate on WNYC in New York, and most recently, as you probably have all seen today, you can follow Ruth's daily life on Twitter. <laughs> when asked why she gave up the restaurant reviewing, Ruth said, I really wanted to go home and cook for my family. Without further ado, I give you Joanne Cates and Ruth Reichel. <laughs> 